Here's my damaged popcorn ceiling in my living room. I had some water damage from the room above, kind of fall water came through, and the popcorn just got loose and fell right off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fix this, and you can see that the popcorn uh, just kind of flaked off and left just empty bare spots of ceiling. So the first step is to throw down a drop cloth below the ceiling where I'm going to repair. And the next step is to kind of get a bottle of water and uh, just kind of spray the popcorn around the damaged area. And what this is going to do is this is going to soften the other popcorn around the damaged area. Some of it's just cracked and some of it's uh, a little loose and kind of falling off on its own. So what we're going to do here is we're going to soften this popcorn. And then what I'm going to do is kind of scrape the surface. And what I'm doing is I'm removing any extra... Uh, stuff that's been cracked or, or still water damaged. I'm taking off a little bit of extra popcorn around the edges of the damage so that I have a nice clean straight surface to work with. So my, my damaged areas will get a little bit bigger. Water is all you need. This is just tap water in a bottle. And you don't need a whole lot. Two or three squirts, let it soak in for 10-15 seconds and then give it a shot. If it doesn't come off uh, like butter, just squirt it again once or twice and then Give it another 10-15 seconds and go for it. Put the drop cloth down below as needed because this does get messy. Little spot started to dry there, so I just put a little more moisture onto it. You can actually remove uh, an entire ceiling's worth of popcorn in with the same method. Just squirt a little water and then scrape away. I would squirt more than just a simple bottle's worth, and I would cover all the floor and remove all the furniture, but you can do it. It's messy, but, but doable. And here we go. I'm cleaning up the last little bit. And then once I clean this up, I'm going to let it dry for a little bit. After it dried, I'm priming these spots that are damaged, just getting a little primer and just kind of tapping it up there with a, with a paintbrush. Uh, this probably is not required, but I wasn't really sure what kind of water damage may have done to the drywall, so I decided to just quickly prime it so that my next step will work a little better. Uh, I've done this before without this step, and it seems to work just fine, but I wanted to be on the safe side. Uh, it was very minor water damage. Anything major, you'd probably want to tear down the sheetrock and start from scratch, but this was minor. This was no more than a cup or two of water that just kind of seeped through. Uh, and the floor above it's all dry. So you can see me just putting a little bit of primer on. Just a little bit. Uh, I used the Kills uh, primer. And then I, again, let that dry for probably a day. I take my time with these sorts of things. Here I am in my painting shirt. Uh, I've tried the spray-on popcorn ceiling repair stuff, and it's messy. It shoots all over the place. It just it just makes a mess. Uh, instead, I'm going to try this kind of a tub of popcorn ceiling repair. It's a I'll put a link in the below. It's pretty straightforward. You can get it from Amazon. Uh, it's just a tub like spackling or joint compound. You just kind of open it up, and you can see it looks a little bit like cottage cheese here. Uh, I stir mine up a little bit. It does settle in shipping. I stirred it up a little bit and it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, if it's too thick you can add a little bit of water I suppose. But it, it pretty much comes right out of the bucket like this. It's already pre-stirred, pretty ready to go. I just stirred it up just to kind of keep it from, from settling. And then what you can do is you can practice with this. I actually practiced a little bit. I took a piece of wood in my basement, just kind of practice putting it on. This is what it looks like when it dries. It looks pretty darn good. Uh, I put, uh, this is I think two, two applications. So here I am, and I'm using a paintbrush, but you can see, you'll see in a second here, I, I kind of got in the way of the camera. I'm just globbing it up there, like literally picking up a, blunk, a blob of it from the can, from the canister, and just kind of putting it up there. And then once it's 
sticks. Uh, and it is thick enough to stick. That's kind of the nice thing. Then I kind of dab it. And that kind of just gives it a little bit of a, it pulls it away from the ceiling. It spreads it out a little bit. And you will very quickly see that, that repair patch or that bare patch just disappear. So I just did one layer where I just hit each bare spot. Uh, pretty straightforward. I kind of put put it on, get all the bare spots, and then I moved to the next. I didn't worry too much about covering everything and making it look exactly like the popcorn I had. I will eventually put a second coat on, and that second coat will fill in any areas that might be low on popcorn. So this stuff is just kind of joint compound with little dried bits in it, and it, it matched my, my popcorn ceilings uh, almost identically. Now, it does go on darker. I'm kind of globbing it up there, trying to make sure it doesn't fall, if it falls back into the can. It goes on darker, but it does dry lighter, just like most other things. Uh, it comes pretty close to my color of my, of my popcorn. Uh, I've talked to other people who said they've used this, and that it, sometimes it doesn't quite match their color. But for me, it was great. Uh, I could have probably eventually painted it once it dries. I chose not to, and you'll see why you'll see that it actually matches pretty well. Uh, it's not a, not a hard process, just kind of glob it up there and dab it up there. My drop cloth is still down, I'm still wearing old clothes because it does, mess, it does get messy and it can fall while you're putting it up. Once it sticks up there, it dries relatively quickly, uh, a couple hours and it, was, and it was pretty much ready to go. It is a little bit of a tedious process, especially if you're looking up. Uh, one of these little tubs will supposedly cover a 12 by 12 repair. Here's some more areas where I'm just putting it up as a kind of a better shot. Me just globbing it up there and then tapping it on. And I'm just using a, a dollar store paintbrush. Uh, I tried using a plastic spatula uh, putty knife sort of a thing and that didn't quite work as well. I was able to glob it up there but then I wasn't able to spread it. The paintbrush was a little softer and I had a little more play with it, with the bristles. I was able to kind of spread it out and thin it out with the bristles a little better. You can see me dabbing it in there and kind of spreading it. Again, I didn't want to make too much of a mess in my living room, so I wanted to keep it from falling and splattering. This whole process took me about 10 minutes to, to, to do a coat. Uh, and I still had plenty left over. I think you could probably make this last more than a more than a, a one foot square repair job, depending upon how much you put up, how thin you, you want it. You can thin it with water. Uh, if it gets too thin, it probably won't stick. And here we are after the first coat's done. It's still noticeable. But here we are after the second coat. You can see that it mostly blends in. I do have a little bit of color variation. But for the second coat, I just again just popped it up there, dabbed it across, made sure the levels were all were all good. Made sure it all it fit into the rest of my popcorn patterns. Here's another shot of it. You can barely see the difference, but there is a little bit of a coloration difference right now. Here's another spot that I did and I honestly can't even tell where I patched it. So it does work. Good luck.